Belize in this instance had ratified the ICCPR in 1996. 1996, we made a decision to ratify this international treaty obligation. And there's a long line of cases that say, if you've ratified and you've upheld treaty obligations, then those treaty obligations can and should, if there's any ambiguity in the meaning, can and should be examined, can and should be included. So for instance, if you notice the section in the Constitution does not say gender, it says sex. And sex in all of the findings of the courts in all of the world has been held to also include the idea of sexual orientation. In other words, the broad meaning of sex, the full meaning of sex should also include sexual orientation. But that treaty obliges us to interpret sex as including sexual orientation, okay. right? And even though we haven't put it in our domestic legislation, we're not looking at a domestic issue. This isn't about a will. It isn't about an adoption. What it's looking at is a constitutional issue, i.e., should persons be discriminated against because of their sexual orientation? And the law is very clear. The cases are clear. You cannot. You cannot because when you are unclear about the meaning of something, you have to give it the widest possible meaning. And the widest possible meaning that is in conformity with the treaty obligations that you signed. And there's one more thing I want to point out, which is that the parliament in Belize has ratified this, you know, because treaties go to the Senate. So this was ratified.